Hey everyone, how's it going? Thanks so much for tuning in. For today's video, we're traveling up to Westchester, Pennsylvania to learn more about paint protection film and how you can add a physical layer of protection to your car's finish to guard against rock chips, scratches, and other dirt and debris that your vehicle will likely come in contact with on a regular basis. I've been doing some research on paint protection for quite some time now because towards the end of last summer I bought this Viper. It was a pretty big investment for me. It was my dream car. I absolutely love this thing and I've driven it a bunch but I want to drive it a lot more and take it on some more road trips and same thing with my wife. She just bought a Challenger so we have two vehicles we really want to get protected. In my research, I stumbled upon this company called Expel, and they offer paint protection solutions for pretty much every make and model that's out there, but what really caught my eye was their Ultimate Film. It's a really high quality film that's practically invisible once it's on the car, but it actually has self-healing properties. So if it ever gets a blemish or a little scratch or something like that, all you have to do is apply a little bit of heat to it and it basically vanishes as if it wasn't there in the first place. It's the wildest thing to see in person. At the end of the day, it's all about protecting your investment. And Expel warrants the film for 10 years, which is really cool too. That being said, I decided to wrap the Viper 100% and Expel Ultimate. It's gonna be really cool seeing it all done. Front to back, top to bottom. I'm gonna do the front end of Crystal's Challenger and some of the high traffic areas, but my main goals with this video is to basically explain what paint protection is and the different options that are out there to basically suit different budgets or driving styles, and of course, highlight the installation process because I've seen several videos online, but I've never seen it in person, and it looks like a fascinating process. We're heading up to the RDS Automotive Group in Westchester. They're gonna be doing the installation. More information about their services and different packages that are offered can be found in the description box below. So I guess without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So the first order of business is to get the Challenger taken care of because this is Crystal's new daily driver. We've had this car since the end of last year and the biggest concern for me is rock chips because she drives a lot on the highway and rock chips, as you guys probably already know, are amplified quite a lot because, you know, 75 mile an hour does a lot more damage with rocks than 35 miles an hour. So that being said, we're going to completely cover the front end. So front fenders, hood, front bumper, get behind the wheels, do the A pillars, do the mirrors, and some of the little bits like the door edges and right under the handle where, you know, rings and fingernails and stuff can get into. So depending on what your car is going to be used for, whether a daily driver or a track car or a little bit in between, that's the cool thing about Expel because it's very flexible. As long as you have a smooth painted surface, you can put the film pretty much anywhere. Now RDS offers a lot of different packages that are tailored to your driving style so you can make sure to get the protection you need without going over budget. Now one of the simpler things you can do is a partial front end wrap which includes the front bumper and maybe like halfway up the hood and fenders and stuff. Again the Challenger is getting a full frontal and more of like a race type kit which actually covers the rocker panels and the A pillars so when you're driving fast on a track which I doubt this is ever going to see the track but it's just extra protection regardless. When stuff is thrown up again it'll be protected here but you still have areas exposed here and here and of course getting stuff spun out by the wider tires with the SRT and stuff so it'll definitely help. Of course, you can go completely all out and get the entire car wrapped. And that's what I'm gonna be doing with the Viper. And it basically creates like an impenetrable barrier from chips and scratches and swirls and bird droppings and debris and all of that type of stuff that your car would experience on a daily basis because, you know, that car was a pretty sizable investment and I love driving it. I love getting it out on the country roads and stuff, but I wanna feel a little bit more comfortable behind the wheel that if somebody cuts out in front of me, I don't have to worry about throwing a rock right into that carbon fiber hood. So I'm looking forward to seeing that one done. So I'm not actually cutting the film, I'm just I'm scoring the top of it, so I, it's kind of like perforating it so I can just tear away the excess. It takes a lot of patience and uh, just take my time, go slow. 
So depending on the front fascia and the complexity of you know, the curvatures and what you have going on, especially more complicated vehicles like a Viper ACR or a McLaren 675, the film for the front is going to have to be cut into multiple pieces. For the Challenger, it's actually two pieces. So the front fascia is one big one. As you can see, it goes across here, wraps up the sides a little bit, and actually goes around the lower fog lights. And then there's a separate piece to cover the top panel. Okay, so the bumper is about to be done, and I just wanted to clarify I was wrong. This bumper is actually three pieces. So there's one up here that's joined at the edge, a big one across the middle that goes around the fog lights, and that little strip that they're working on right down there beneath the intake. All right, the front end is done. Next, it's on to the roof piece, the A-pillars, and side view mirrors. While they're working on that, I wanted to touch on some of the high impact areas, such as underneath the door handle here and the door edge guards. So you know in a lot of auto parts stores, you can buy edge guards. They're either clear, chrome, or black, and they fit to the edge, and they look kind of bulky and mess up the car's lines. Expel actually has a door edge guard kit that's, you know, perfectly cut and everything like that, that you just run it along the edge and press it down with your hands. You don't have to put any solution or anything like that, but it creates a nice clean surface. You can't tell that it's on there. And if your door bumps into a wall or goodness forbid another car, you don't have to worry about chip and paint. All right, the Challenger's all done. Took about six hours or so and it looks absolutely fantastic. So I guess the only thing left to do is to pull it outside and check it out in the sun. Once the car is outside, you can see just how invisible the Expel is, especially on a color like this, it completely blends into the finish. The film also has a top layer of clear coat, so it has the same luster that the factory finish does, so when you're looking at the car, even if you don't do a full wrap like this one, you don't notice a difference between the panels. There's no additional like orange peel texture or anything like that, so it looks just like it did from the factory, if not maybe a little bit better. So now that the Challenger is done, we're in the process of getting the Viper prepped for the paint protection, but we actually have to do an extra step because the dealership I bought this from was super generous and actually put two layers of ceramic coating on it, which if you're not familiar with it, it's almost like a glass coating for your car. It provides an extra layer of protection and gives it a really, like, really, really deep gloss. It's absolutely beautiful, but you can't put the Expel on top of it because you need to actually apply it to the bare paint surface. Otherwise, you can risk it peeling off or bubbling up over time. So the folks at RDS were generous enough to offer to remove the ceramic coating. So we're gonna get it all properly done. Welcome to day two of our Expel install. Today we're going to be focusing on the Viper, which is getting a full wrap and Expel Ultimate, front to back, top to bottom, so it's going to be completely protected. Before applying the film, there's always some preparatory work that needs to be done. Like I said, we had to strip the ceramic coating that was already on the car to begin with to make sure there's a nice clean surface for the Expel to actually bond to. Now, Evan behind me is going ahead and doing a final clay bar of the car, which we had to do with the Challenger as well, but we didn't get any clips of that because we were too busy trying to peel all that red vinyl off that I put on to at least get me up here, not to worry about the rock chips across the side of the car. So the Viper install is going to be a lot more intricate than the Challenger because obviously there's more pieces, but there's a lot of scoops and crevices and curves and all of that cool stuff. But what's really cool about what Expel does is that they'll actually go around and measure all of these sections and load the tin plates into this design access program. So not every vehicle is going to have a full kit available. It just depends on the make and model. That's where some custom solutions can come into play, and we've already seen that numerous times with the folks here at RDS. If needed, they can pretty much custom do a whole car. So 
so the hood is pretty much done. Now we're gonna move on to the rocker panels. This is where the Expel is gonna make the biggest impact on this car because the Vipers didn't come with any form of paint protection or stone guards or anything like that. So if you're driving it a lot, especially driving it at high speeds on a track, for example, the tires are so sticky that you run the risk of all the stones and stuff being picked up being thrown onto this inner lip and the lower panels, you know, front and rear. So by putting this here, we have that extra layer of protection and we don't have to worry about the car being damaged over time. So the front bumper is another template that's provided by Expel. And as you can see, it's all precisely cut to go around all the reflectors. There's actually a separate piece right here that's connected up front, but it's separated so it actually goes inside that front air duct. So once it's all said and done, it'll tuck in nicely everywhere and you won't even see a line. All right, everyone, that's the end of day two. We have one more day ahead of us. The only thing left on the agenda is the roof, uh, the trunk lid, the rear applique, the bumper, all that good stuff. But it was a long and tedious day. Everything's looking really nice. The only thing left to do after that is to let it cure for a bit and we should be good to go. Alright guys, today is the final day of the install. We're going to kick things off by wrapping the headlights. Now, Expel actually has a pre-cut kit for headlights, you know, depending on make and model, different shapes and all that good stuff. But we don't have that right now, but I have to drive this car back eight hours to North Carolina. So I want to at least make sure the headlights have some protection for all the highway driving I'm going to be doing. So we're going to go ahead and throw on some Ultimate and look into getting one of those headlight kits later on. So the front is now done, now it's time to flip the car around, work on the roof and the rear section. want to make sure to do is clean behind the license plate. Same goes if you're going to do expel to the extent that we're doing on the Viper. It's good to make sure to do that behind the license plate because of this right here. As you can see, there's a lot of scratches on this black applique, primarily where the license plate was. It's basically a perfect outline. You know, dirt gets back there, stuff moves around and vibrates, it just kind of gets all scratched up in there, but you put the Expel on underneath the license plate, you know, definitely beneficial if it's a brand new car and you don't have to worry about all of this kind of stuff. Now, the Expel will partially cover all this and will definitely prevent it from happening later on, but buff it a little bit and stuff, smooth it out, and it should look just fine. So Evan's currently working on the rear applique, but in the middle section right here, you see there's a lot of tension with the Expel to either side. So you have this pretty cool machine that I was kind of curious about. Um, so it actually uses vapor and you're going to soften it a little bit? Yeah, I'm just gonna relax the film a little bit, just so when I go to squeegee, it'll, it'll just stay a little bit looser for me. One of the cool things about this is, you know, collectively we have about five or six years experience and every day we're learning something different and we always pick up on just like, you know, little little tips and tricks that we you know, explain to each other that kind of help us out and it, uh, it makes, uh, makes things a little bit easier sometimes. So what I'm applying here is, is uh, knifeless tape <clears throat> and it's essentially, it's a very, very fine metal wire um, placed between two pieces of tape that allows us to do uh, custom installs. Or when we're using, when we're doing custom installs, we use this and we don't have to take a knife to the vehicle itself. And it has this cover tape, so after we apply the film, we can actually apply the, the cover tape over, the, over the, uh, the wire and pull the wire through. <clears throat> so it creates a nice edge that almost looks like it's, it's cut from a pattern. This makes things a lot easier. Mm -hmm. 
We're in the home stretch. Now that the roof is done, it's time for the final wipe down and finishing up some of the small details to make sure everything is absolutely flawless. All right, so I guess we're pretty much done, right? We are. What we are, are some of the final steps that you guys do to wrap up a project like this? So we want to go around the car, wipe it all down, make sure we didn't miss any globs of gel or soap or alcohol. We want to check for any white edges that need to be pressed down, look for any air bubbles, moisture bubbles. Basically, we just go around the car, do a complete once over, and make sure there's no imperfections so the car leaves here absolutely perfect. Awesome. So that pretty much wraps it up for today's video. Both cars turned out absolutely fantastic. The guys here at RDS really did an amazing job. Again, if you'd like to learn more about the services they offer and to learn more about Expel in general, everybody's contact info can be found in the description box below. Be sure to stay tuned next time. Leave a like and subscribe today. There's always a lot more where that came from. Take care, everyone.